So this is the setup for our lab. You can see it's just like it's uh, written on your paper there. And if you haven't yet, you should pause the video now and read the introduction. And the, the setup is just like it shows on your paper. So I've got two photo gates and I've got two cards. Each card has a little flag on it. Now the flag may be hard to see in the video, but it's just a popsicle stick that sticks up. The point of that is that when we have our carts move, they're going to move right through the photo gate. And we can time how fast that took, or how long that took. The Vernier software on the computers will give you that time. It'll give you the time for when the popsicle stick goes in to the photo gate and when it comes out of the photo gate. Now to find the speed, because you know you need the velocity to find the momentum, you're just going to take this width, this distance, divide it by the time it took to go through that photo gate, and there's your velocity. We've got one set up for this cart, and we've got one set up for this cart as well. To make your cart explode, as it says in the procedure step number, uh, number two, you're just going to take this little trigger and you push it in and up. Now you can set it to two different settings, and it does not matter which setting you use, and you don't have to be consistent. You push it in and up, and you get it set. When it's set, you get your uh, carts all ready to go. One cart may have more mass than the other. Again, that's for something, something for you to decide. Now, when you trigger this, you're going to push down this button, but don't use your finger. Your finger's squishy. It might catch on the cart and mess up your data. So instead, you're going to use another mass, and you're just going to tap on it. When you tap on it, they explode quickly. Someone else can catch the carts, and you get all the data you need. It shouldn't take long to capture your data. It'll take longer to analyze the data. As you look at your data, and again on your paper that you have in front of you, you'll notice that at the top of the table there's a spot for you to say cart A has or does not have the spring, uh, spring rod. This is what I'm talking about. Make sure you record that. And lastly, uh, I want to make one more or two more notes. Uh, procedure step one. It says make sure you do a dry run. The idea is this. You're going to take this cart before you do anything else in the lab, before you start collecting data, you're going to take this cart and move it in and out of the photo gate to see if this, how this cart compares to the data that's on your screen. This will either be the red cart or the blue cart associated with the numbers on the screen. And this cart will have either red numbers or blue numbers. So you want to find out which is which before you start recording data. Lastly, take a look at the note at the bottom of the page that's really important as you're analyzing the data. I'll show you tomorrow some more specifics on how to set up Vernier software and how to get the Logger Pro ready. But for now, that's what you should know. Hopefully when you come in tomorrow, you have an idea of how to do this lab. The better you know how to do the lab, the quicker it gets done, the more time you have for data analysis, and probably the better you do on your lab quiz.